Hello and welcome to Tech Dive. We're going to be doing another Vegas tutorial today. We're going to be talking about Movie Studios 14 Platinum and we're going to be talking about how to make text or overlay text onto your video. So as you can see here, I have a video track, just a single video track, and I've already got some text on here. And I'm going to be talking about how to do just a basic text drop. So first, you're going to have to select the Media Generators tab. This is where you'll do all sorts of things like you can grab checkerboards or noise textures and stuff like that. But we're just going to go to titles and text. And the first default one is the one with all, all the fun, crazy effects added in for you from Vegas. It's just the pure and simple text. So what's great about Vegas is it's very easy to add text. You just drop that on there. You make it say what you want it to say. Like I'm going to be like, neat. And then I'm going to change the font. All you have to do is come up here. You can make it Webdings, whatever font you have installed on your computer will show up here. So then you can change the size. You can make it huge. You gotta have it highlighted though. You can make it huge. You can make it tiny. And also you can bold, italicize your standard font editing. And then you can change things about it. So right now, you notice it's in the middle of the screen. That's not an optimal place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it down to this table here where I can see it. Uh, if you drag it too low, uh, some things might cut it off. Even modern TVs is way worse on the old tube TVs. But even modern TVs sometimes cut off little bits of this stuff, even on YouTube. So sometimes if you put a title right here, when someone loads it on their TV or their monitor and they load it full screen it might cut it off about like that and it's not gonna look good so it's what's called a title safe area really just there's kind of a I wouldn't go any lower than this just kind of take about that area right there and don't ever add a text outside of it and that's a modern title safe area you can even draw some title safe lines if you want but those are really more just guidelines and so my guideline is don't go lower than this and you can change the color of it by just you can go through all the effects here change the color you can pick any color you want green blue red this changes the darkness of the color. So if you want a bright red or a dark red, and this changes the see-throughness of the color. So if you want it to be a white, but you want it to be kind of see-through white, like a washed like a washed out watermark, that's how you would do it. So I would rather not have that. I'm just going to leave it white. The next thing, animation, you can add a preset animation. We're going to leave ours none right now to keep it simple. Scale is essentially how big you really want it. So font kind of gets can, does that for you somewhat, but scale really helps you get it exactly right. So we're going to leave our scale at 1 and you can always come over here to the side and manually add in your numbers. So we're going to keep going down here. Location is you can manually grab it right here, but really with this this one I just like to grab the text box and drag it myself it's a little easier to figure out exactly where you're going but you can always do it on this box as well anchor point is kind of w where the text is coming from and th that won't matter as much unless you're trying to resize it so if you have a bottom left anchor point and you're trying to make it bigger then it will get bigger but never leaving the bottom left and a center anchor point will get bigger from the center. So that's just all that is. I'm going to make it a little smaller again. And see, when I'm adjusting the size with my mouse, I'm adjusting the scale on this slider. Next thing, I'm going to make that one one more time. Next thing is advanced. Advanced is where you get to the fun stuff. Tracking and line spacing. Tracking really just means kerning, so how far you want the letters to be apart. Uh, I'm going to hit Control Z because I do not want the letters to be that far apart, or I could have also just zeroed it out on the right side. The background is the background color you can choose. 
you got to make it not see through. If I make the background color black, then essentially I'm overlaying a black slide with a text over everything and I won't be able to see any of my video. So that's just how see through I make that color. I'm going to leave it see through, which is no harm, no foul. I can change this color all I want and it won't matter because unless I make it not perfectly transparent, then you won't see it. Line spacing is similar to kerning, except it's just line spacing. So let's say I did neat twice. Now it says neat, neat. And if I increase the line spacing, you can see right there, it's just increasing it. Outline and shadow. I like the outline and shadow stuff. So outline with, I usually like to do a small black outline with white text or a small white outline with black text. It's the same kind of color picker. It's consistent with the, the uh, darkness changing versus the transparentness changing. I'm going to pick that and then I'm going to add width to it. So right now you can't see it at all because the width is zero. But if you add width to the outline, you can see a fine little black line starting to appear to very deep black line starting to appear. And I like to add a little bit of a black line because it helps it show up no matter what. So right now it's really easy to read even over the white Abraham Lincoln on my shirt because there's a black line so now it doesn't matter what the color is the letter will always show up. Another way to kind of help that if you hit the drop down box one more time for shadow you can enable a shadow and then you can decide if you want to offset that shadow X just means to the left or right Y means up or down. You can do it to match your shot. You can get right behind it to the left. Whatever you, whatever you want to make the, wherever you want to make it look like the light is coming from. And the shadow blur is just if you want it to kind of bleed out and be a subtle shadow, or if you want it to be just a hard shadow of the word itself. So, all that being said, for each and every one of these that you see a clock on the side, this is how you animate it. Now, this gets a lot more complicated, but I just want you to know that this is an option. It's called keyframing, and let's say we're going to change the positioning. What we could do, or the scale, let's say I wanted it to get bigger and bigger, I could animate it. And this, I'm going to have another video. I have a video that talks about keyframing a little bit. I want to get into that as a deeper topic in a later video, but in general, Keyframing is this is the start of the clip represented here. This is the end of the clip represented here. I can have a keyframe here, and if I want it to change, I can create another keyframe, let's say at the end. So then I would just hit need a little more space there. See what I'm doing. Then I could just hit this. I can make a change let's just say I bring up the scale so now I have a change at the end and it's going to slowly achieve that change over time so if I scrolled it up it was faster sorry it would more quickly achieve that change and if I leave it at the end of the clip it'll achieve it by the end of the clip just so you'll see what I'm saying I made it get bigger so it'll just get bigger and bigger and you can do that with each and every one of the effects that you see that you saw a t timer next to or a clock that's just the animate button and that's essentially just how you access the keyframes to get more exactly what you want and make it animate across the slide so that in a nutshell is how to add text in movie studio 14 platinum aka Vegas. If this video helped you out, please like. If you're looking for computer enthusiast related videos, as you can see I'm talking about power supplies in this video or more editing tutorials or videography related videos, keep your ear to the ground on this channel and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Please suggest another Vegas tutorial if you're looking for something in particular. I'd like to see if I can help you out. Thanks again. See you next time.